Welcome to Columbus, Ohio, and the venerable horseshoe, home of the Ohio State Buckeyes, a place that's home to such legendary names as Archie, Woody, Zeke, and Stroud. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see the number nine team in the country, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on the second ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Buckeyes will put total leather and will get started. On the run from inside his own five. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. So Michigan's offense will have the first possession of the game. Stakes are always high in the game. Careers are made and lost because of it, and they'll have to manage their emotions, guys. Some games in college football just mean more. When you think about Ohio State and Michigan, you think about not just Big Ten implications, national title implications, Heisman Trophy implications. Late in the year, David, this is just must-watch TV. Must-watch TV, two of the winningest programs in college football history. This game, I tell you what, recent years has really brought back the tradition and been so much more competitive now that Michigan's also getting some wins. He'll try it again. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. On the ground, it's Edward. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. The colors of the day were maize and blue when Michigan won a close one last year. It was Ohio State leaving the stadium feeling blue after that one, too, the way that Michigan enforced their will late in that game. They were the most physical team when they needed to be, and David, they're going to have to do that again to pull out this W. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if you're the coach at Ohio State and you won every game on your schedule, but you lose to Michigan, it's an unsuccessful year. So he's heard about it all offseason, and these players have too, and they'll be ready for some revenge. Got enough for the first. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Now the crowd responding in the red zone trying to help this defense. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Using the quick game. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the gun, the ground game. Relentless tough running gets it down to the 4. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. To the air, it's Orgy. Gets it out fast. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. They can use this first score to sort of set the tone, guys, in this rivalry matchup. Man, doesn't this feel good to come out, score early, get the crowd involved, get the nerves out of the way, Palmer, when you're playing in a big rivalry game? Yeah, and I feel like momentum is always a big thing in any game. But in rivalry games, it's that much more important because everybody is going to feed off that first score now. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive. They top it off with a little trickeration. From inside the 15, here's the return. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Buckeyes offense will go to work for the first time. You know, David, both of these teams have a strong safety that can support the run and also disruptive in the passing game. That means it's just so nice to have a guy that's so physical, like a linebacker, but also can play like a DB. These guys are really revolutionizing defenses. They hit people, too. They are heat-seeking missiles. Nobody wants to run over the middle of the field against these guys. 
Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. The Buckeyes have enough for the first down. Well, you see a great individual effort there that time, and you can see the skills this guy has, and he just reminds me sometimes of the great Ohio State backs we've seen in the past, right? You think of Archie Griffin and his two Heisman trophies, Ezekiel Elliott, J.K. Dobbins. This guy right here with his skill set, he's got the chance to be the next great Buckeye back. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll do it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. These two first squared off in 1897, and this rivalry is almost like a history of the sport itself. Uh, so much history, so much tradition. I, mean, I can go back to 2006 when they were one and two. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And this home crowd was so jacked up, so excited to finally get the football after giving up points on the first drive and having to be quiet. Now they're quiet again. How about the defense coming in here, shutting this crowd up early and doing their job? The Buckeyes will punt it away on fourth down. Signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 20. Guys, here come those maize and blue wing helmets on offense. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over them football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers, David. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. After the big play to start, now they are on the move at their own 45. He's got an open man. Still on his feet. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Making great decisions. That's what all of the legendary Michigan quarterbacks have done. John Navarre, Elvis Gerback, and the guy can't remember drafted in the sixth round by the Patriots. Yeah, what is that guy? What was his name? Tom Br Tom Brady? Yeah, I think I think that's his name. Yeah, he, he was pretty good, too. But when you think about Michigan, you don't always think about the quarterbacks, and you don't always think about airing it out. But again, if you want to be a great college football team nowadays, you better be able to throw that big skin. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Looking to throw at Orgy. He'll take a shot. And it's caught. Touchdown Wolverines. That touchdown puts them up by at least two scores. Too early to say it's over? Probably, but boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. From inside the 20, chance for great field position. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Line gets set, first down. Hand off from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Touch pass on the run. What a nice job by the defense to string it out, not give him any kind of alley and knock him down for a loss. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Balls at the 25. 
looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Things working pretty well for this defense out of the dime package and still getting plenty of heat on the quarterback. Yeah, get off the rock, understand the situation. All the fast guys got the back end covered. It's my job to seek and destroy the quarterback. Great job by the defensive line rushing after that guy and getting him on the ground. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll bring it back. It's Morgan. Looking for running room. He'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Paulo, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Those who stay will be champions, so said Bo Schimbeckler, and those who keep it on the ground churn out first downs. Yeah, it's, it's because it's a way of life, right? It's that physicality. It's going to be hard in practice all week. When you're at Michigan, it's going to be grind. It's going to be physical. That's who they are. They won't compromise. And if you get to stick around here recently, a lot of success, too. To the air, it's Orgy. Throws to the tight end. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic, fortunate to get it back. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Going deep. It's complete, and he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive. Or... He's got it in the end zone! Touchdown, Michigan! This quarterback really does a nice job seeing the field and reading coverage. And when you go empty and you spread the defense out, it's easier to see what the defense is doing. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. So that scoring drive took only six plays. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. Takes it inside his own 20. Chance for great field position here. And the returner goes down. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Looking for space, it's Henderson. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. On second down, he'll fire. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Henderson. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Give to the running back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. They'll try to put a drive together starting from the 36. Wants to throw on first down. Looking deep. It's complete. A huge pickup. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his run. A strike downfield. He goes out of bounds after the big play, but there is a penalty marker on the field. Let's see what that one's about. The big gain on offense, and the play will stand. The offense declines the penalty. 
Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Scanning the field, it's Orgy. He got it! They will score! Touchdown Wolverines! When these offenses get in a rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too. Get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. On to attempt to try. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Caught inside the 20, chance for a good return. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Just nine seconds to go in the half. Let's see if they try to get another one. They'll try to get the edge with the toss play here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks so much, guys, and I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion, and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight end. The guy's like an aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases and shows off that speed and route running, he's almost unguardable. Gotta believe he won't be able to go anywhere in this second half without someone attached to his hip. Wolverines will boot it away to start the second half. Balls it in inside his 20, and here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Got blown out in the first half and now just desperate to find anything to generate momentum here in the third quarter. It just starts with one play, though. You just need one thing to go right for this offense to start to build that momentum, and then that becomes infectious for the defense, for special teams. Everything can change. It just takes one play. It really can, and it's so strange, and you can't quantify it. I don't know how to describe it as a coach or as a player, but you got to make something happen, and it's got to start on this one. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The offense thought they had a good look to run that play into with the QB, but there's just an example of a defender winning his one-on-one -on -one battle and making a tremendous play. Great effort. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Well, we've seen this offense struggle early in this game, protecting the quarterback. They went in at halftime, thought they'd made the right adjustments, but... It's not looking like it right now. They're still having issues keeping this guy standing up straight. Up front, they're just getting beat across the board. This is a third and long. Back to throw, it's Howard. Pocket starts to collapse. And he feels the heat coming in. It burns him up. Another sack. If I'm the offensive coordinator, I'm thinking about chipping this defensive end with running backs. I'm leaving my tight ends in to help this tackle because we cannot block him. He's already got two sacks. And the Buckeyes Number decide to punt it away. To kick it away. Slips through the line. Oh, big juke to get past. <laughs> The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They'll go to the ground. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Running toward the tape. Touchdown, Michigan. And the punishment has been extended. They built a comfortable lead, and Michigan is firmly in control. Yeah, hail to the victors has been playing. This team has handled the moment, handled the game, as well as any Michigan team we've seen. They know every year this will be a fight 
but Michigan has brought it, and Ohio State hasn't responded. And I think Michigan has just done a better job executing here in the second half. I love the way they've mixed in the run with the pass offensively. Defensively, they're doing a great job communicating. They're just the more locked-in team here late in the game. And they tack on the extra point for a 35-0 lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And it's caught from inside the 20, and here he comes. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. Running the option, it's Howard. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. The Buckeyes will bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Looking for a block, it's Morgan. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. He's going to pass. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. Well, he did a good job getting to the middle of the field. That's where the offense wanted to attack on that play. He's just got to do a better job looking that football in. They'll give it to the back. Continuing to turn and move it forward. They're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. Finds a tight end. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at the 34. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator. It's a lot of DCs. They focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they're going to be in for a very unpleasant field session. And there's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. They'll throw it from the red zone. Catch in the middle, it's Loveland. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Works his way to the four yard line and they'll have it first and goal as they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. And the Wolverines have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. And down here near the goal line, you've got to be physical. And this guy's proven it today, Palmer. They've given it to him. He's put it in the end zone twice already. I'm going to keep featuring it. Touchdown, Wolverines! And the beatdown has ensued. 
They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Palmer. I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time in this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. So that's a 59-yard touchdown drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. He'll bring it back from inside the 15. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. Michigan has long had defenses built on discipline, carrying out their assignment, and they have done that to perfection today. Carry out your assignment, do what you're supposed to do, but do it with bad intentions. That's what I like. I like the physicality. They're, they want to hit you in the mouth. Year after year, Michigan players leave and they go to the NFL with the next group. Discipline, tough, physical. It's always staples of these defenses. The Buckeyes have it with a first and ten. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the very, very correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. That's caught. It's Henderson. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. We've got some of the work done on first now. Let's see what they have on second down. He's looking to throw. He'll pull it down and run. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. Lining up to convert third down. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. No one for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative. And the pass hits. Picked off. Taking it the other way. He's inside the 40. The 20. And he's going to run it all the way back. Touchdown, Michigan. Dude, this, you didn't think it could get any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays. And the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. From inside his own 15, let's see how far he can get. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Dropping back, it's Howard. He's got his man across the middle. 
And how about that? What the doctor always ordered, an explosive play to the 40. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. Getting some heat. Tackled, but he has a first down. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback had flat fitted in a tight window. Just inside the 30 at the 29, it's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. It's incomplete, and trust me, you will not see that very often from this guy. It's second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He'll just keep slinging it. They're trying to get to it. Pass rush coming after the quarterback, and they get him at the 32. You know, it doesn't matter how talented you are as a quarterback, how accurate you are, how athletic you are. If you're on your back most of the day, it's going to be very hard to win the game. That's been the case for this guy here today. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. This quarterback has been under duress all game long. He's one of the best in the country, and he's used to having his way. He's the one who's used to dictating to opposing defenses, but that has not been the case in this game. Here we are late. He's still under pressure, taking a sack there. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in and keep chucking and keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defense's job to stop you. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. The Wolverines have it with a first and ten. Quick handoff. Got enough for the first. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. It's really easy to get caught up in the emotion of a rivalry game. We did, and certainly this was a huge win. Yeah, and you started, you circled it, you were ready for this team. This is this is the rivalry you put a lot of stock in all offseason. You're talking about this game in particular. You go out and get the dub. It's a relief because you definitely wanted this team. And it's bragging rights for everybody, for the coaching staff, for the fans, but how about for the players as well? For another 365 days, you can talk about how you went out, you dominated, and you beat your rival. A lot of these guys are going to go on to the NFL. They'll be in locker rooms next year. They'll be talking about this for a long time. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Thank you.